Let us convert 3x squared minus 2y squared minus 12 equals 0 to standard form. So, we all know that this kind of equation is in general form wherein lahat ng terms natin ay nasa isang side equation and then the other side is 0. And to make it in standard form, we must have two terms in fraction forms and uh, there is a minus between them and then the other side must be 1. So, to convert this, uh, we have a 3x squared minus 2y squared minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so ang target natin standard form, magkaroon ng 1 dito. So, uh, next step is to uh, transpose the constant term to the other side of the equation and matitira dito is yung merong x squared and y squared. So, we have 3x squared minus 2y squared is equal to yung negative 12 by game positive 12. Okay, and then uh, we have here, uh, divide both sides by 12, which is the constant ng given natin. And kapag dinivide natin siya sa 12, yung right side ay magiging 1. Okay, and then when we simplify 3x squared divide by 12, so 3 over 12 is equal to 1 fourth. So, we sort natin siya as x squared over 4, and then minus... Okay, we have 2 over 12. It can be simplified as 6, 1 over 6. So, minus uh, y squared over 6. So, now we have two fractions. There is a minus between them and then the other side is 1. So, therefore, the final answer is x squared over 4 minus y squared over 6 equals 1. Okay, so let us convert y squared minus 5x squared plus 30x plus 4y minus 46 equals 0 to standard form. So, in here, first combine like terms. Unahin natin yung variable y since ito yung first variable. We have y squared then followed by plus 4y. After the variable y, variable x naman tayo, negative 5x squared then plus 30x and then, yung constant term, inipat na natin sa kabila, may yung positive 46. Okay, and then, after combining like terms, kunin natin yung GCF, ilalabas natin siya. And, ang uh, kukunin lang natin yung GCF ay yung mga uh, numerical coefficients lang ng mga variable. So, y... Uh, for the variable y, we have 1 and 4 and the GCF is 1. So, kapag 1 lang, wala tayong gagalawin siyaan. So, y squared plus 4y. And then, sabi ko nga, pag hyperbola, there is a minus between two terms ng grupo natin. So, we have uh, GCF ng 5 and 30, we have 5. And then, divide uh, each term to negative 5. So, negative 5x squared divided by negative 5, we have x squared. And then, negative... Uh, and then, 30x divided by negative 5, we have minus 6x. Then, equals 46. After getting the GCF, we completing the square to make those binomials a, a perfect square trinomial. So, we have here y squared plus 4y plus blank. Okay? And then, minus 5 uh, times the quantity of x squared minus 6x plus blank, it is equal to 46. Okay, plus blank, okay, manggagaling siya dito sa variable y. And then minus uh, 5 times blank. Okay, ito naman ay nagmula sa variable x. Okay, so as you can see, balance yung ating equation. So, ano yung nalagay natin dito sa blank? So, yung nalagay natin dyan yung b over 2 Squared. So, isa-isahin muna natin. For the first variable, y, ang b natin dito is 4. Okay? And then, divided by 2, then squared. So, so, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. And then, squared. So, 2 squared is equal to 4. Yung 4, nalagay natin dito sa left side. And ganun dito sa right side. Next, uh, dito naman kay variable x, b over 2 squared is equal to negative 6 over 2 squared is equal to negative 6 over 2. We have negative 3 then squared. So, negative 3 squared that is 9. So, ilagay natin yung 9 dito sa isang side and then this the other side na 
equation. So, in here, uh, meron na tayo perfect square trinomial and nakikita niyo balance yung ating equation. So, kapag ito finactor natin, kopyahin mo yung variable, we have y, and then haltiin mo lang yung b natin. So, we have positive 2. So, plus 2 and then square mo na siya. And then minus, so 5 times uh, x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, x and then Hatiin mo lang yung value ng b natin which is a negative 3 and then squared is equal to 46 plus 4 minus 5 times 9. Ito ay 45. So, 46 plus 4 minus 45 is equal to 5. So, kompleto na natin halos. Okay, so kailan magkaroon tayo ng fractions and then the other side must be 1. So, to make it 1, do sa right side equation, divide both sides by 5 by 5 and by 5. So, we will have here quantity y plus 2 squared over 5 and then minus 5 divided by 5 that is 1. So, kapag 1 na lang siya, magiging quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 5 divided by 5 that is 1. So, this equation now is the final answer. So, dito sa second term natin, kahit wala na yung over 1, still, ay fractional form pa rin yan. Okay, na ganito ang sagot.